So oh, hello, hello my beautiful friends, let's do some collage today. I have gorgeous pieces around me, I have some books as well, I have some watercolor paper pad, beautiful elements to fussy got, so let's get into that. I'm starting by deciding where my page is going to be placed and I'm hoping to do it in this beautiful book. It's a watercolor book with the spiral bound thing. I put already some masking tape here on top and bottom and I'm thinking to do exactly the same on the sides. I hope for today's video to have plenty of collage, plenty of magazine elements. I really hope we're going to do some watercolors with it as well. Basically as many different mediums to use as possible. And also today's video, it's going to be old style Marta. No cuts, no edits. Uh, we're just going to go with the flow as it is. Um, and we're going to have lots of chats. So I hope you will stay and create something with me. Today's project is really for everyone one because we will be trying to use as many possible uh, different supplies as possible did I say possible twice? Um, I wish you to just get yourself into uh, into your studio and just stuff that you have around it, just get them, gather them in your uh, desk and let's just do some page. Use whatever you have. You have some magazine elements, you have some scrapbook papers, you have some uh, old book pages, you have some uh, tissue, rice paper, you have some maybe stickers, you have some more papers, anything think you have all the beautiful elements and this is what I'm hoping to use as well I'm gonna grab stuff from the book as well the most important part of this video my beautiful friends is use what you have what you already accumulated over the years and let's make some gorgeousness scenery project you know something something I don't know I have a vision and I'm gonna share this vision with you while we're gonna create and just think about it uh, I'm thinking about cup a mug cup and um, but instead of um, a text maybe I'm gonna do exactly the same thing here on this beautiful old music notes yes that's what I'm thinking uh, this as well it's quite funny so let's just make this straight um, of course I'm gonna hand drawn this why not I'm gonna just try to have this hand drawn look at the end of the day it is it is not something that has to be super straight or super um, perfect it's more to be just what you love to be you know that's the main thing okay there we go so let's cut this and I think it's gonna be such a great start of our project now if you hear <laughs> some noises yes this would be my Lucas eating because today's recording had a pretty much of a difficult startup point I have to say hi hello Hannah I meant to start recording this oh at least yes at least six five six hours ago it was just not happening for various family reason for various chatty chats yeah. and arguments and disagreements it just was not happening but I'm here in the studio <laughs> with you and no and I have a set of teapots and stuff you have teapot like I have um, um, um what's that cups and Cup. Yeah, you have a cup and teapot, yes. So I'm hoping to make I'm this... Kind of stuff. Yes, I'm hoping to... Um, are, we, are you putting water in it? Yeah, I did. You did? And I squeezed some um, juice from a <gasps> little... Super. Some of... Do you know those little oranges? Oh, yeah, no. The little oranges that you... That's so easy to peel. Okay, the little mandarins, you mean? Yeah, I squeezed the juice you from them. You squeezed some juice from them. Oh, super nice. I have this gorgeous, I think this one is Stamperia as well, paper. So I'm thinking Aww, instead of cup. using <laughs> this, I'm thinking to use this. So let's see. Um, it feels a little bit vintage right now. Sure, why not? We can have a little bit of a vintage feel to our page. I would love to have as many pieces used, as many interesting looking stuff on the page. Will it work? I don't know. 
uh, last video that I posted was the watercolor journal page sort of thing and you loved it so much but I also I have asked you what would you like to see in the future and so many of you thank you so much for your comments by the way so many of you have mentioned Marta we miss you we miss the old Marta we miss your chats doesn't matter how long how short it is you that it's dra drawing us to your videos so that was the really sweetest words and so many of you have mentioned exactly that so I figured today's video is gonna be you know like old me where I fussy cut and chat and not speeding the process or cutting out where I can just speak to you about the families what's going on in our everyday life for example that morning was just tough to not say it was ugh yeah as word nearly it was just just not okay and it happens like that you know it is just if you think my family is ever perfect no it's far from that my husband <laughs> is not um you know we we're just regular normal people that if i wish to sometimes record it's not happening on time i planned it but it didn't happen so now it's way later than i hoped but then I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna still do it because, yeah, because <sighs> I need crafting, guys, in my life as much as you do. And you know what's amazing? I, I have been uh, doing loads of watercolor um, in the in my new channel, Marami Simple Craft. I've done so many paintings, so many watercolors that I really miss paper craft now. And I really wanted this to happen. I think on the back of my mind, I really was hoping that it's gonna happen, that I will just simply uh, enjoy coming back with using paper, scrolling through, not scrolling, but you know, looking through the papers, finding gorgeous embellishments, elements to create beautiful projects. So that's, that's what I'm thinking and hoping for today's project to be let's see oh I love that start do you know what I'm gonna turn it around because look interesting little tip uh, not that I know much about it but instantly I felt that it's too heavy because the 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 leaf goes there so the the the, the holder <laughs> the ear it's like too heavy but look if we swap how fantastic I think it's better it just weighs in in the middle and it's just so much better now I still wish for this page to be it the only thing is that I'm missing is that I love that there's so much more music in here so what I may do is I may uh, redo that off camera back to you let me show you the cup and uh, that I decided to off camera change so from this one to kind of more of this one because it has more music notes and yeah well this could be nice as well i must say but i like that and also from this packing paper that's little hanitka <laughs> from packing paper this one is from uh, boma art if you never heard from them uh, if you never heard about them <laughs> boma art has gorgeous packing papers and i got this uh, tiny birdie from that paper and i'm thinking to use it maybe like this also from my paper set um this one is from antiquary yeah, if you're not familiar it's in my online store so check it out but we have this gorgeous page and I was thinking it's Mama, kind of yes can I do art on this paper or something uh, yes you can use that paper but Hannah right now mommy is on her own in the studio no not not now sweetie not now I really need me time a little bit you know me means on my own you know? Uh, pretty, pretty, please. I know you're pretty, please, but no. Not this time, Hannah. Something to remember. I'll cut that as well. Maybe I'll use that because, oh, I, I love that. I have this gorgeous uh, paper from Mintai Papers Nightfall and I fussy cut this, uh, I don't know, moon or, or, or a planet, whichever. I'm going to fussy cut the bigger one as well and see if it's going to match at all i i think it could be such a nice addition to the background and make the whole piece pretty much magical and interesting and different and i was thinking as well we could maybe do a little bit of um background the drawing some some maybe bubbles drawing we shall see um 
as I have mentioned before, <laughs> it feels that today is not day for recording. And um, if you're watching me for many years, for many, many years, because I'm on YouTube probably for 10 years or more, you would know that sometimes, uh, no, not sometimes, you would know that a lot of times I would say how things have been. In general, I would share my thoughts, my feelings, how things are, and the same for today. So I'm sharing with you today that today is not day for recording, but because I really, really would love to be with you today and really have this urge for creating this piece. I'm gonna keep going. Hannah is doing her own thing now, playing around. Uh, I, I guess she's missing the time uh, where we used to do a lot of stuff on the desk but I haven't been doing uh, stuff on the desk on my own so I also miss that, you know um, Lucas is washing dishes so we may hear that interestingly enough again, if you're watching me and know me for long you, you, there's no surprise to you okay, let's see if this is too big or or what's going on wow this is looking really unique, unusual, I don't know. But for some reason, it felt... This felt right, I think. If we keep it as it is, without these... Sorry, <laughs> I can use them for some other project, I'm pretty sure. I think I would like to keep this one as it is, so kind of a little bit on the side so we can fit that moon and maybe the birdie like that I love it let's have a look through the elements and see what else could we add is there anything I think these are the transfer meetings like uh, robins so maybe we can add it somewhere they're cute they're tiny um, let me just go through my pieces the butterfly or maybe it's too much I love Honestly, I love, totally love what I see right now. I wouldn't like to change too much in a way. Uh, but on the other hand, I had the vision of this super filled with elements project. So I'm not saying no to it yet. But I think I wish to make sure that whatever we're going to add to this page is going to be really, really, really matching it and really really just looking great all together with it. I wish to be in your heads right now and I wish to hear your thoughts. What to add here? What else? What would we? What could we do here? I think I have something quite interesting. This gorgeous um, rice paper. I wish you to see that I'm trying to combine as many elements as we can possibly uh, can, and still having it really pretty. So let's have. I know what you may say. Oh, Marta, don't rip this gorgeous piece. But I think we can most definitely use this piece um, in pieces like use this whole big picture in pieces so grab the for another project grab the trees for another project grab the house maybe grab the water <laughs> you know that kind of uh, feeling I have so now I'm grabbing the sky basically so let's have this one and let's see if my vision has like something I don't know Let, let's see if this is gonna be maybe I can cut this if, if it's gonna match up um, I love these collages that are so very much uh, quirky and different uh, this is the brand of this rice paper is lime art let me just show you if you're wondering it's lime art this is the line sorry <laughs> not lime line art if you're wondering uh, let's have this one this as well I have my mm, masking tape around it because I was really hoping we're gonna paint the background I still hope we will do it we're gonna paint a little bit of watercolors on it I would love that we shall see I haven't done project of this sort for ages so it does feel a little bit <laughs> a little bit strange and nervous to me but then I really am a first challenge and <gasps> look at it how wonderful it's so different and I'm thinking possibly what if we just have only this part and then this part going like here 
and then moon and then this on top or something I love that I love that however let's see if we're not gonna change our mind and go back to what what it was originally uh, my family is here by the way Emily is just there Lucas is just there as well and they're laughing that I have Dia because that's what Hannah says I have Dia not that she has idea but she says I have Dia and I have Dia I have an idea look at this gorgeous packing paper from Bomo Art as well but look at this particular element I have a vision that these could be like with each other sticking out from that uh, little I wanted to say jar pot but it's actually Filijanka, Emmy. What's that in English? Filijanka. Teacup. Thank you. Thank you for that. So, teacup. So, my idea is to not cut too much of that trees and stuff. And I'm going to fussy cut this one, which isn't that easy to be honest. I forgot that I have this book here. Now, I have the element, which I'm gonna show you in a second, and I have this, not fussy good. Let's see if there's anything in this college book. Um, you know, it could be something, something, something. Um, I have this book. I always wanted to use things from this book, and it's just sometimes not happening, you know? So I guess um, we just have to give it a, a flip through and see if there is something that could just match the whole idea of vintage feel and sort of watercolory feel and stuff like that. So let's see, maybe some house for the birds, uh, which isn't really a house house, but mm, I like this though because it's a little vin a little whimsical, which I truly like. This could be interesting instead. Look. That could be quite nice as well. Maybe a tiny too small, but it's nice. Um, what else we could... That's Hannah on the couch. <laughs> Looking for attention, of course she does, because... Uh, I have to say the last months we have been spending a lot of time together, together, together with each other, together all the time, all the time. So it's quite a difficult one for a small aid to get the idea that, do you know what, right now mommy has to be in the studio on her own so I think that's that's a tough one for a for a baby right it can be but at, you sort of have to put the boundaries as well at some point I guess I have been looking through my stash for the last well maybe five ten minutes I found this gorgeous lace because I'm thinking about border I'm thinking that I really wish to add something else something else and since we are in this collage mood, since we are about to fill in the page and really make it different, and that's uh, my honest feel to it, let's try to make it a little different. Oh, I can cut it in half, and this could be our our um, side and bottom, or something like that. I have another one like this, but you know what? Um, no, I think I wish for well. For, for most definitely, this is 49 and market if you're wondering where is this coming from. I got this ages ago from Janine. I used to get uh, plenty of uh, art supplies of all sorts uh, from different brands and I'm a hoarder so I'm having these elements for many many years so sometimes possibly you can't find things I'm using but maybe you can substitute look at this I mean seriously this is gorgeousness and I really would love to have this here on top I think it's gonna be looking gorgeous and also maybe hmm I'm trying to think because at the same time we don't want to overwhelm the project at the same time I really wanted this to be vintage feel and I have this uh, sewing one I just love and I thought maybe it could be nice the question is do we need that border we need that border from masking tape if we are doing watercolors but we are maybe instead of this masking tape that I'm gonna take it off now maybe I'm just gonna add different kinds of um, scrapbook papers around to create the gorgeous border maybe this is our answer and I still will um, watercolor it but it's gonna be I guess it's gonna be um, in between the scrapbook papers I hope that makes sense 
I guess what I'm trying to do today is I'm, I'm trying to complete the vision that I really had in my mind. I mentioned about this ecology project a few times uh, somewhere and I really wish to complete this vision and yes, do you know what I'm gonna do? I will cl uh, I love clean, I wanted to say. I will glue it down. Um, yeah, maybe like this. I will glue this down because once we have it glued down, then it's so much easier to see how much space we have left. So I'm going to put it exactly in the middle, have the whole comp composition in the middle so we can do the border then. I have Pritt stick, of course, forever favorite Pritt stick. And, 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 and some piece of paper that we just need. I think I'm, I changed in the, in the meantime, I changed that a word from something to fabulous something to remember to fabulous i think i liked this one is it was standing out much more and i liked it so here is that now also do you know what let's not focus too much on having this so perfectly perfect if it's going to be a little on the side let's try to accept it so things may just happen you know and that's okay and um, it's hard to, with few elements hard to decide how we're going to actually glue it down because which element will be first which is going to be second and things like that so let's just kind of pretty much place the embellishments and then slowly but surely oh i like it like that do you know what i'm gonna do i think my uh, next idea will be to possibly grab this one remember how it is grab this one yes have my print stick ready and make some room on this side so you can glue it down it's going to be much easier so let's grab my Pritz, Pritz stick it's just a glue stick i love working with glue stick because it kind of keep my brush clean keep my hands clean and i like that and it does stick it does stick the paper so it's fine now let's just gently and this one is that it's a uh, 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 re-stick up to five minutes which is super awesome super handy right okay so if we have it like that if we have it like this let's see where this birdie meant to be yeah I like that maybe and this could be a little more to the side uh, like that I think so I think so let's have the flower next um, placing elements with the glue as I said it could be a bit challenging so take a time and just try to piece by piece the side which is you know next to be glued down which will make your life easier and how to work with the whole composition so this is what we have right now sort of am I right something like that or more on this side higher maybe even a little bit higher or maybe like this well no a bit on the side because the border on the right won't happen if we're gonna have this too much now maybe like that <laughs> girls Hannah I'll be back in five minutes go on maybe of this kind I like that I love that actually and I like the beak to standing out there because it really does help to have the birdie more visible no we need more glue are you cleaning Hannah mm -hmm. thank you the dust thank you for dusting I'm sure that there's plenty dust in the studio so now let's add the birdie we can still decide of he could be like this and I'm not sticking him as yet let's grab glue and let's have our teapot not teapot um, thing. The, cup. the cup thank you Hannah and let's have our cup do the magic here and the side that of where so beautiful, Mommy. thank you and we can have or a bit plenty dust here, plenty dust here. I'm, I'm sure it is something like that and also I need a bit more glue here so this then sticks out this come on birdie you can go under my cup right in the cup under the cup whatever oh, you want wherever you like okay and say do you know what I'm gonna wait with my 
with my moon so that we can decide whether we have the border or we won't have the border. Now, Hannah, I think Emily is calling you. Go with Emily. Watch. <laughs> yeah, I know you want to watch now and we can have maybe this one off if I'll take off the masking tape I'm gonna take off this tape there we go I think I found some solutions so I had different options I had all sorts of ideas I grabbed this paper and I was thinking to have this on top then I wanted this one as well then I of course I wanted this one and I was doing this and eventually what I'm thinking to do is instead of focusing on the color that was intended so pink and gray I turned around them to the kind of backing color and look at that how is that if we have like this gorgeous pinky peachy color frame now I wish to hear your thoughts you're not here to tell me but I'm guessing this looks like a gorgeous picture and I think I would still like the moon I think it adds this quirkiness already to it which is nice we may still add something I don't know but so far I think I'm gonna glue down as it is I have my frames ready so I think I'm gonna just cut it and there we go it is looking gorgeous I like that very much it's it's kind of finishing the project in a way that it looks quite I would say elegant oh this does not glue down too well this glue is fantastic because you can move it but also <laughs> maybe it's moving nearly too much um, exactly I think I'm gonna just add some extra glue to that wait, wait one second no we need to glue this again my collage is pretty much dry ready and I was thinking what to do normally what I would do is I would jump in with the clear gesso because I would maybe work on a surface that wouldn't work with mediums but this time this is watercolor paper so I'm gonna chance it and see I'm gonna do a little bit of shading shadowing the question is of the day which color to choose this one is this one is it the same actually no it's not this one is dark chocolate and this one is my favorite back, but very similar, isn't it? But for some reason, I still miss kind of more of a browny tone. I had one ink tense of this kind color, but I just lost it somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. I'm sure that there was a third one, but I can't find it. Mommy, I have this gray one. Mommy, yes, Anna? Um, can I ask something? Yes. Um, um, in a minute. Can you please do it faster because we're, mm. we're doing it, um, the thing, the duty. The picnic? Yeah. The picnic you're making, okay. So, so, yeah. it's very fast because it's nearly doing it. Okay, I, I'm nearly finished, okay? Okay. Okay, I'll be back. Can I watch you? Yeah, you can. I found a different color and this one is watercolor pencil from Mia actually. Um, never used them in the project to be honest so this is going to be my first time using it. Um, color it's kind of, do you know what, it could be really nice so let's just, let's just have a little play at least here on the bottom where we have like, I don't know, like so some kind of, oh I probably could have been a little bit faster with it so the pigment wouldn't be staying on the paper i i'm not too sure of what kind of exactly um effect i wish to achieve now doing this honestly i um, i probably normally what i do as you know do you know what i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just grab maybe instead of jumping with the pencils maybe i will just grab some gorgeous brownie what oh i forgot about the house didn't i no way is this even possible to it has to be possible to still fit it in pretend that it's there so let's see if I can with the f with it or without it oh, I love it with it and I love it without it is this like I somehow love it both 
no I'm gonna leave it this time anyway let's just see if I have some gorgeous brownie color of watercolors delicate let's see what we have here oh this one is nice it's kind of uh, brown oh wow well, wow wow this is like really too too much oh, I love this one. Oh, I love this one. Oh, I'm gonna grab this one this is something I have used this one is handmade watercolor that I had from some Christmas calendar from last year. I like that. Although... Oh, I love it. Like a gentle thing. Now, I'm thinking as well, how about... I'm just trying to think, are we going to have... I honestly don't know myself, but I think I'm gonna um, I'm gonna chance it and use that pencil just here to make this quick gentle touch of there we go of uh, pigment. I really wish this to be slightly painted because it's gonna give us this feel of that everything is like one pretty one pretty painting and that it's matching that it's this collage makes sort of sense because everything is in this vintage feel if you know what I mean so that's exactly my thinking right now mm -hmm. Ooh, that was a lot that's okay if it's too much grab some tissue quickly remove it and try to fix it or whichever Yes, I like that. I think I like that because it gives me this sense of, I don't know, that it's just happening together. Now, I see that this is maybe not the most special watercolor paper that I'm so used to painting on top of uh, clear gesso and it's just so much easier for me. I'm just so used to it and it's you can redo it constantly on the clear gesso surface, you know? So that's kind of how it works differently. But I like to challenge myself as well and just have a chance to play this way. Why not? Uh, especially that maybe mm, if we're not gonna play with clear gesso first of all a lot of people don't use it and a lot of people can't get it <laughs> and a lot of people don't own it so I think it's nice to me maybe it's nice to just have a, a little free hand and I'm thinking that I could be a little bit more free handed here as well and allow my painting to be more free handed because I think right now I'm nearly controlling it too much so Marta just let it be let it go let's see as in allow the watercolor to work in your favorite in your favorite in your favor <laughs> Marta and her English okay I love that let's see I love that it's like it, it it's like in the shade in the shadow and something I honestly love that you know maybe slightly here as well whoopsie whoopsie that's a lot let's get this working quickly before it dries like this on us and if it's too much quickly quickly <laughs> get rid of what you don't like do you know what at the end of the day as I keep on always saying it's not a mathematic it's not rocket science it's art that doesn't have to be perfect and you can make mistakes and you can just enjoy the process because this is the most important part enjoy the process you know this paper it's kind of nearly falling <laughs> that's okay in pieces oops let's clean this off oh it worked <laughs> now okay there we go it's like a little mm, it's like this little as if the cop is standing on something right and it's nice to just mm, I love the color scheme here to be honest I really do and uh, maybe we're gonna grab this one as well oh I love that it's like this more dirty-ish chocolatey color Oh, I love that. Okay, 
Wow, look, if you ask me, Mar Marta, what's the secret to how to shade? The secret is keep going, <laughs> just keep keep on trying and just do whatever feels right. And that's how I'm doing it today. And stepping out of my comfort zone with being without clear gesso, it really feels great. Mommy? It does work. Hi, baby. Yes, it's I'm nearly, nearly there. starting. Okay, I'm nearly coming. I'm nearly there. So what did you get? Uh, what did you make for the um, for the picnic? What's there um, to look forward? Some water and Oh, I like water. Mm -hmm. Water or juice or and I'm going to make some um kind of kind of um bread and Did you make it already? No. Go I'm and make one. Go and make bread. Um, Make four pieces. Okay, make four pieces. Now I'm adding this a little darker as well here, so you can see that it's in the kind of few places only in the closure or whichever. I don't know if that makes sense, but just in in this where the elements are meeting, kind of thing. That makes sense. That makes Mom, yes, Hanya. Um, can I make real bread? Yes, you can. Yes. Dad said I can't. <laughs> Well then, why did you come and ask me if you can, if that said no? If that said no, maybe he had a reason. Well then, go and ask him why no. Maybe you can do it together. Because if that says no, I can't say yes then, you know? Me and daddy, we always have the same, nearly always have the same sort of vision. Okay. How pretty is this now? You you tell me, you tell me, because I absolutely adore it. <gasps> I so much love it and I'm so serious now. Now question, spark, uh, not sparkles, splashes, but I'm going to dry it, come back to you with everything dry, because if we're going to start splashing now, problem is we're going to end up with the splash on the wet surface and it's going to dissolve more. Project is dry and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Nice. I just sat down on my little stool and I think I'm gonna do like uh, what I love the most, which is a little bit of outlining, a little bit of doodles, not too much, not too little, just about that. I love this kind of uh, um, defining the project. Um, th there is no precision per se, I'm just going around with my um, with my hand just gently delicate and all just to have it kind of um, sort of a feeling of border or having this standing out a little bit more I love how the I love how free handed is the is the outline with the, um, the shading with the colors because truthfully it's kind of uh, interesting like it's so, sort of like um, where it's standing then we have like I like it I like that I haven't overwhelmed the project with the sometimes I feel that I used to overwhelm the project with having every single edge colored which in this project there is no color in here and I used to would be like oh everywhere everywhere no it doesn't have to be everywhere so I'm kind of free-handed right now and if I'm gonna miss a part that's okay too we're gonna go around the, our teacup uh, the cup thing a little bit maybe do a tiny drawing here as well and we are done then maybe tiny I'm gonna do tiny tiny splashes and I'm thinking about the splashes from the same color as we've done the mm, this one the original one color the the the, the kind of this <laughs> this kind of brown but to have the splashes not everywhere I think I would like this to be let's say what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maybe put it like Oh, there we go. Something like that. And let's try the splashes on the side as well. Let's see. Oh no, too very, very too little. Oh, oh, there we go. That's better. So maybe I need more pigment, more pigment. Oh, there we go. Something like that. So more pigment. Well, a little bit more probably water as well. And pigment. Maybe I'm doing it <laughs> wrong. Maybe I need different brush or something. We shall see. I, I hope to uh, make this work. The, o the only thing that comes to my mind is that I could possibly do it like this. There we go. Yes, that's my worry. The splashes are going everywhere, literally. 
but then that's okay let's just have it oh it's on my face I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it okay a little bit more and also oh I like that a little bit more happened now and also how about the other color as well the, this brownie brownie thing I clean this properly and let's have a few of these I'm not too sure if it makes any difference um, with the splashes if it's gonna be visual visual enough oh, I love this I absolutely love this now question of the day are we adding the white oh I love it so much oh wow um, Marta and her love 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 but it's it's I really I need a tiny sp oh there we go there we go that's it that's it guys girls boys ladies and gentlemen I love it what a comeback Marta what a comeback <laughs> there's nothing better like tapping yourself on the back and saying well done so I suggest you to try that as well my gorgeous beautiful friends I hope that this comeback of old style Marta in a new version or maybe old Marta in a new style or however you want to call it I hope you liked it and enjoyed this project we have used die cuts we have used um, element from packing paper from my papers we've used some drawing cup from the music notes some vintage flower some other like different elements we didn't overwhelm the project and what I love about it is that actually one thing I need to do what you know what I'm thinking what's interesting as well you can make nearly put it in your computer and make a printout from it wouldn't that be just gorgeousness I think so I'm trying to think that maybe this could be slightly bit more brownishy there we go just a tiny brownishy around so that it is not as um it is not as standing out oh i love that now definitely definitely just a touch because then it's more of of matching color to what we have here hannah is waiting for me to come for the picnic so i will be finishing here my beautiful friends i honestly I honestly would love to hear your thoughts. What do you think? Would you like more projects of this kind? Where I chat when there is no edits, no cuts, but it's free uh, chatting, crafting as I go, as I chat with you. Let me know your thoughts. Do you love this one? Because I truly, I truly do. Have a wonderful day and I'll chat to you very, very soon. I love you. Till the next time. Happy crafting. Bye. Bye-bye.